What the hell kind of coffee is this? I don't know. A big one in a small can. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm going to like this. Look. Well, uh, uh, for originality, I'll give them that. I mean, I did not expect this at all. Maybe they dicked you over on their coffee blend. Uh, I'm kind of hitting the panic button. Like this is, this is bizarre. B yeah, I. <laughs> You're dumbfounded. I, like what yeah. the hell? Was you had to take a big, deep inhale to get it. I thought I liked it initially. <laughs> <laughs> if they just stick to those two things, it'll be amazing. <laughs> But who knows? <laughs> Riding giants, it could be any kind of giant, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> well. Hi, everyone. I'm Janet. I'm Jason. We're Gumbo Mud. Mud. We're here for dark beer. And today we have big one in a small can. <laughs> <laughs> we have Riding Giants from Rip Current Brewing. Yeah, 13%. Yeah, this is right? a 13% ABV Imperial Coffee Porter, which I think this is by far the heaviest porter we've had. Yeah, that, it, yeah, I don't think you'd even consider it a porter. I know. <laughs> that's a stout. That's I know. A, it's a, that's where the word stout comes from is a heavy porter. It's a stout porter. It's stout. <laughs> so, yeah, but Imperial Coffee Porter. Yeah. I'm so, so excited for this. Yeah, yeah. And that Rip Current's a great brewery, mm -hmm. so I love Rip Current. So, yeah. This monster 13% ABV <laughs> has huge amounts of two selected coffees. Um, from Iron Smith Roasters. Have you heard of Iron Smith Roasters? No. Me neither. Well, they're, as soon as I heard Encinitas, I was like, I've never heard yeah, of them. Yeah, they're, the, they're in Encinitas, so they, they must have their own blend. So they uh, two selected coffees they use for this. Mm -hmm. And uh, they cold steep it, which we talked about cold steeping before. It's not roasted coffee, it's cold steep mm -hmm. coffee, which you said look, that's what they do with tea and stuff. Yeah. It's cold steeped. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, brings out the flavors of chocolate and toffee notes. So if they just stick to those two things, it'll be amazing, especially at 13%, right? So. Please. We'll see. Okay, so um, I know you're a surfer. Yep. Is the name Riding Giants, is that, uh, is that supposed to be Riding Giant Waves? Is that what giants are? Well, there was actually a movie that came out called Riding Giants. Oh. On big wave surfing back in the late 90s when mm -hmm. it, it came really big, toe wind surfing and stuff. So I would think that's where they got the name. <laughs> But who knows? <laughs> Riding giants, it could be any kind of giant, I guess. Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah so. All right. Yeah. <laughs> About the brewery, a result of two friends who were avid home brewers and wanted to reach a broader aud audience besides the people in their garage. Yeah. <laughs> so you have Paul Singster and Guy Shoby came with the idea of opening a brewery in 2011. Um, yeah, back then. Yeah. Yeah, the right. Rip Current's been around for a while. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, Singster, Paul, Paul Singster, <laughs> he insisted on investing in a reverse osmosis water system, yeah. which they, uh, you know, kind of tout as why their beer is different than everyone, because mm. they have this system that yeah. uh, other people don't, and they can pre precisely control the water profile of each beer. And... Uh, being from Chicago, which is known for their pizza, I know I've heard that uh, New York pizza is different because New York has different water. So I, I yeah. do think that that's true, that water, you know, and where it's sourced right. from and, you know, can definitely play a huge role in the finished product. So well, yeah, that's, I think, originally why uh, Colorado and Oregon was such big craft mm -hmm. beer. Um, 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 forefront industry there because of the water yeah like you get mountain sense. water from colorado and oregon and then it kind of went from there so uh sangster uh was really originally trained and employed as an engineer which you know when you have, have a big brewery and you have all the pipes and all the kettles and everything going you have to it's a lot of engineering yeah. to it so yeah and that. uh that's part of his success as a brewer uh his close attention to detail measurements and constantly repeating the process so just you know which mm -hmm. that's how you learn how to do anything just yeah. over and over and over again so Definitely. yeah yeah he's focused on quality and opting to use instead of using a mobile canning service he's he was one of the first i think here in san diego that got their own canning line mm -hmm. um and now you know obviously everyone 
it has their own canning line and does their own canning, which is great. So, right. yeah. And uh, they have two locations, the original one in San Marcos mm -hmm. and then the one in North Park. Right. Which the one in North Park is really, really nice. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. The one in San Marcos is still kind of original and stuff, yeah. which is kind of nice. It's kind of cool mm -hmm. in original. So, yeah, they haven't yeah. done much to it, but it's a cool spot. But the one in North Park is really, really nice. Yeah. And cool. So, yeah. It's good. And that's about it. Uh, if you want to see, we did we do another rip current? We did uh, Java Storm. We did Java Storm, which you can see that video right here. Mm -hmm. And uh, check that out and do a little more information on the brewery and stuff. But yeah, rip current's great. Check out their website, look at them, and uh, yeah, they have great beer. So yeah, sure. exciting. So yes. ready? Let's ride yeah, this let's giant, baby. 13%. So yeah. yeah, these are just little small cans, so we each get one, mm -hmm. which is great. And I know they do a bourbon barrel uh, version of this. So um, this, is, this is a. Heavy, heavy porter, man. I know. I 13%. cannot wait for this. Yeah. All right. So, Here we go. Ready, yeah, ready, ready? Yeah, I didn't catch up with you. Let's go. Oh. Woo! Look at that. What? <laughs> this is not 13%. Look at that. It looks like tea. <laughs> I think they forgot the decimal. I think it's 1.3. It's lighter than Coke. <laughs> this is... Look this at that. This is like honey. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it looks wow. like lighter than honey. That is crazy, wow. you guys. I hope you were able to see that. Wow. That's probably one of the lightest beers we've ever had. And you think it's misnomer, 13%? You think I they know. got it wrong? It's 1.3, <laughs> not 13. They okay, said they forgot the That's decimal. crazy. So for appearance, Janet, what do you think about, look at the head's white. It wow. poured lighter than honey. That was crazy. I'm kind of hitting the panic button. Like this is, this is bizarre. I do feel like the can is misprinted. Oh man, when you hold it up. Yeah. Oh, well, look at that. Yeah, it's amber. This is so bizarre. It's amber, yeah. That's it's cool. It's it's crazy. Yeah, it looks nothing like any kind of coffee porter. Thirteen percent we've ever had. Like, what the hell kind of coffee is this? I don't know. Two different kinds of coffee. Okay. <laughs> Cold steep, not roasted. Yeah. Maybe that's maybe that's it. It wasn't I think roasted. The so roasted brings up the the color. The more darkness, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think about the appearance? Well. Uh, uh, for originality, I'll give them that. I mean, I did not expect this at all. Yeah. I, I thought it was going to be like jet black. Yeah. So I'm completely taken back. Yeah. Um, the head uh, is nice. I yeah. uh, on yours. Um, yeah. yeah. I. <laughs> You're dumbfounded. I, like what yeah, the hell was the that? The color. I just cannot. It's I, crazy. I don't know what this is going to be like. It's so um, light. That's one of the lightest beers I think we've ever had. I know. Ford. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a four. Yeah. It's just not what I was expecting. Yeah. Uh, hopefully the other col uh, categories, colors. I'm so hung up on colors. <laughs> hopefully the other categories, uh, you know, redeem themselves. And not that four is bad, but yeah. just not at all what I had expected. Yeah. Uh, I gave it a two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a 13%. That looked nothing like a 13% I ever had. So um, when I buy a 13%, I want a third, you know, I want a 13%. And what right. it looks like, I want it dark, I want it rich and uh, mocha head and all those kind of things. And this is not that. So I can't give it average because it looks below average to me. So I'm hoping the taste and all the other categories are well up there. But yeah. for appearance, it doesn't look anything like. Uh, what I was expecting, so that's why I gave it a two. So, aroma. Okay, this is straight sun tea. I can see yes. through the beer yeah. and see our logo. Like that's how uh, uh, light this is. Okay, yeah. aroma. So, chocolate and toffee. Okay, no, I am. I am getting that. Um, it smells nice. It smells so light, just it like it looks, light? though. Yeah. You sure it's not one point three instead That's, of thirteen? I said that already. Like for sure. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, this is, I... What's your aromas? Just the slightest bit of chocolate. Yeah. Sweetness. That's it. It's yeah. so faint. It's faint, but it smells really good. Yeah. Really good. It's just faint. Yeah, just sweet. Sweetness, general uh, sweetness. You have, to, you have to take a big, deep inhale to get it. Yeah, it smells good. It's just so faint. Man. There's not nothing to it. So what do you give, what do you give aroma? Um... I'm gonna stick with a four. It's right. not. I mean, it smells nice. It's just faint. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, nothing. Uh, nothing bad at all. Yeah. It's just so light and faint. Light, yeah. Again, this is thirteen percent. Like, yeah. 
got to deliver here. Yeah, I gave it a 3.5, so I couldn't quite go to a four. I think it smells good. Mm -hmm. I just can't get it. Yeah. I cannot get the smell. Like, it's so hard to even get the aromas. It really Boy, if is. the aromas were pumped, I'd give it a lot more. I'd almost give it a five because I think it smells good, but I can't smell hardly anything. So, all right, taste. Look, look how white. I don't think I'm going to like this. <laughs> look how white the I head mean. is. It's insane. Carbonation looks good. So, but 13%, I don't know, man. It's, there's no way it's 13. Really? There's no way. <laughs> How light is it? Um, it's very, it tastes really good. It's very much like uh, chocolate milk. Super yeah. creamy, light. Um, it says 13%. There's no 1.3. I don't buy it. That's crazy. Yeah. But it's good. Yeah. Um, is it faint like the aroma? No, the taste definitely delivers, delivers more. more. Um, it's more of the the finish, like it's a little light when you start and, and kind of hard to pinpoint the flavors, but I do get like uh, like chocolate milk with some booze. It's light though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know how this is a 13%. I just don't, I don't think it is. Not even close. Mm -mm. No, this is like a five. Yeah. I agree. Now, the flavors aren't that strong to me either, and I am getting some bitterness. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that's the chocolate. Yeah. And the coffee. The coffee's bitter. Like, they're not, it's not sweet. But, yeah, it's, I think it's the bitter chocolate and the bitter coffee. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting no toffee. You getting toffee? No. I Like I said, my, my closest comparison is, um, like, a chocolate milk. Yeah. Just not as sweet. But yeah. chocolate milk with some booze. Because I yeah. do, I am getting a little booziness, but definitely... Or Nowhere 13. near the double digits. Like right. it's, uh, I agree with you that it's more like a five. Yeah. So what you give a taste? Um, I'm gonna give it a three point five. I get something bitter on the end. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It's almost like a peel, like a like a orange peel, orange zest. Like it's not orange. Right. I'm just uh, the, like a banana peel. Like all peels are very bitter. Um, I thought I liked it initially. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I thought I liked it more. I, yeah. I felt like I got some chocolate milk, but now that bitterness is kind of taking over. It is. So yeah. three point five. Yeah, I gave I give it a two point five. I think it's below average. It's it's just bitter, and it comes out more and more. And uh, I'm not really getting the chocolate or the coffee. I mean, obviously, if it's the bitter, that's what I'm getting. But I still don't get chocolate flavor bitter. I just get bitter. And I don't even taste like any coffee. Uh, I'm just no, getting I don't bitter. Either. So obviously that's where the bitterness is coming from, but I don't taste any of it. And I don't get any aroma of it, hardly at all. So yeah, I gave it a 2.5. So hmm. to that big 13% texture, what do you think? <laughs> this one's easy. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I don't, I am gonna have to give it a one mm. on texture. I don't yeah. think I've ever given a one like yeah. this. I, I don't know. I, yeah. I don't know if you need to go back to Iron Smith, <laughs> Iron Smith Iron Roasters. Smith Roasters like yeah. Maybe they dicked you over on their coffee blend. Like this, it seems like it has no coffee in it. It does not have coffee texture. Um, Chocolate. Yeah. No. Well, the texture of it's just nothing. It's like a five or even less. So That's crazy. I'm with you. I give it a one too. Like the texture. This is a nine out of thirteen. But like when you have a coffee okay. beer, you get that. Yeah. The texture of coffee, right? Yeah. yeah, roasted, yeah. So we had we've had another beer that was cold steep, didn't we? Coffee? We did. Yeah, I don't mm -hmm. remember exactly, but Me neither. Yeah, but this is just yeah. So we both give it a one for texture. What about the finish? So light on the texture. Yeah. Um, what about the finish? The finish, um, you know, I, I think I'm gonna stick, not stick. I think I'm gonna, <laughs> I think I'm gonna give it a three. Um, I, I like the finish initially because I get like that chocolate milk for a split second and then it just gets uh, a strange bitterness that is like I, I said some kind of peel yeah. um, you know just something lingering that I don't really love it's a dry finish which I, I like that part of it yeah. but um, you know you don't get really that like creaminess you don't get the flavors you just kind of get that lingering bitterness so yeah uh three for me three average mm -hmm. uh, i give it a two i give it well below average because it's bitter 
It is. It's dry, but it does linger. So it lingers on from my palate for a little while. It, it's a dry kind of linger, but that's what I'm getting. And it's just bitter. It's just a bitter so beer. strange. Yeah, it's just a bitter beer. A light, watery, bitter beer. Which is crazy. It's an imperial coffee porter. Imperial coffee porter. I, uh, where'd the co Again, where'd the coffee go? I wonder if they mixed up the canning. <laughs> we got We got a different beer. I know. We, this tastes like a different beer. I agree. I, they could have mixed something up. Yeah. We'll, we'll have to look it up and see, see if that's what happened. Like, Because <laughs> something's off. Yeah, I, it is. I would totally yeah. believe that that happened. Mm -hmm. If they were like, we made an error. We're going to send you a year <laughs> worth of free beer to compensate for our yeah. error. Yeah. yeah, I love Rip Current beer. They make some. I know. Good, they make some good darts. We both but, uh, do. Yeah, they do. So I this love is, their beers. This is a shocker, like yes. all around, right? Yes. So Janet, what do you give Writing Giants from Rip Current Brewing? My overall score was a three point one out of five point zero. So average. Well, yeah. Um, I like you love Rip Current beers. Yes. Uh, Ooh, we oh, they make some good ones. They make some really good ones. Java and Storm, Vanilla Storm, Mocha Storm. I mean, oh, so good. I know. I don't know what happened with yeah. this. Like, we don't have a date. I did check the date. There's no date stamp. Yeah. Um, it just does not seem at all like a double-digit ABV, let alone 13. No. Um, no. You know, it's it's kind of a giant fail. And especially name it after big wave riders. Like you want you want something big. It's riding giants. It's a big beer. This isn't a big beer at all. Nothing. It's not not no characteristics. I expected it to be like like almost too much for me. Yeah, you know, 13, like that yeah. it was going to be so boozy and like you know so strong and you know just chewy like almost yeah. too much for me. Which yeah. there's not many that are too much for me. But I thought yeah. this would be just that and I mean it really fell short it's so. lighter than coke it's lighter than sun tea yes yeah it's that's crazy yeah, yeah. so I don't know I, um if you've had this before you know please comment um yeah let us know yeah and maybe yeah. this is what it's supposed to yeah uh, be like but yeah. you know maybe it's old maybe like you said the canning got mixed up I and, don't know yeah so anyway uh, 3.1 is my total. Where are you at? I'm at a 2.2. Like, I, this is disappointing because I love Rip Current. They have so many beers I love. And so, yeah, this is not a 13. It's, uh, it's, there's no flavors coming out that it says. It's just kind of bitter and flat. Mm -hmm. and, well, it's not flat. There, there's, there's carbonation looks good. Mm -hmm. Tastes good. But it's just, yeah, it's just a weak, weak beer. It's not heavy at all. It's no, I, I'm with you. Like, we've had so many beers that were 12s, 13s. 11s 17s like we've had a lot of yeah, heavy beers we have this is nothing like a 13 percent. so yeah porter stout whatever you want whatever. to call it it's yeah. just not it's not yeah uh meeting that exactly standard exactly. that you would expect from something in that uh, abv range so yeah so gumbo mud total gumbo mud total is a three uh, sorry a 2.65 wow 2.65 so below average and it, it, it is. It's a blow average beer for, for what it says it is, a 13% imperial porter mm -hmm. um, with coffee, chocolate, toffee. Uh, you just don't get any of that. So. Yeah, you checked all our boxes. That's all yeah. stuff that we would love. But Yeah, oh yeah. But we, yeah, it just fell yeah. short for yeah. sure. Yeah, so Gumbo Mud Review is a 2.65 for Riding Giants by Rip Current Brewing out of San Marcos and North Park here in mm -hmm. San Diego. So um, thank you guys for watching this review. Click the like and share button and share it with everyone and click the subscribe button for more dark beer reviews. <laughs> you can find us on Instagram. It's Gumbo Mud, M-U-Double-D. And we always put out a post with our release of our YouTube videos. And then we do some extra special content along the way, giveaways and fun pictures from our shenanigans. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, yeah, we're disappointed. It's sad. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I wanted wah, this one so wah. bad. Wah, wah. So anyway, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this review and Thank we'll catch you. you on the next one. All right. See ya. Bye. Bye.